Okay, starting with this tutorial, I'm going to do a little comparison between uh, Blender and Unity. All right, I'm going to show you some of the ways that I take advantage of both. So th they both serve different purposes. And so Blender, even though we have the Blender game engine, even in that case, what that is, it has bullet physics library built into it. And you can do a lot more than just making games. with. I don't like to think of these things as game engines. I like to think of them as physics engines that have all kinds of capabilities. But I'm going to show you kind of the introduction to getting started with both, but primarily with Unity, since this, these are mo mostly my Blender tutorials. So I have a simple sphere in the scene. Of course, to add a material here, I just maybe grab a red material, and it's done like that, and it's built into the scene. So now let's go over and look at Unity. Now here's a simple project. What I had done, all I did was say File, New Project, and I gave it a project name. And it comes up as an empty scene like this. Right? So in, if you want to add an object to the scene, you just come over to the Create button, and you come down here, and here are our basic primitives right like this. So I'll add a sphere to the scene, and in this case, it added it. You can see my transformations. It adds it at this position in X, Y, and Z. You press this little button right there, and you can reset it to 0, 0, 0. All right? But how do we add a material? Well, you just come down here and create a material for your object like this. I'm going to give it a name. I'll call it red, like that. And then once I have it as red, then I come up here and press this button like that, and it brings up this color menu. So I'm going to select this bright red in here. Okay, so there it changes it, it red, but I want to apply it to this object up in here. I don't really see it rendered right here, even though it says I'm in textured mode, right? But let me go click the sphere and see if I drag it in. See, I click the sphere and I dragged that right into there. And then, typically, if you want to play the game, just like within Blender, if you're in the game mode, if I was in game mode, I would press P to run it. But in Unity, you just come over here and you, within game mode like this, you just press the play button and it runs it like that. Obviously, there's nothing happening to it right now. But, well, we could do something simple. We could do something simple like taking it. These things, if you use QWE and R on your keyboard, that's QWER, easy access to these four things like it's Q W E R and of course that allows you to move it just by dragging it back and forth that allows you to rotate it by grabbing the axes we have access to that like in blender this allows scaling x y and z one of the important things to know is that in unity y even though it's green y is pointed up in unity whereas z is point even though but it is nice that it's still green just like in blender it's just that y happens to be located this direction. So you can scale individually like this. I'll hit escape or hit control Z or you can grab the middle cube left mouse button and raise it up like this. Okay and th th right there I'm holding down the middle mouse button middle w w the wheel mouse to move to move it around just like that and then if you want to rotate it around hold down the alt key and then with the left mouse button you can rotate it around like this. And then say if we want to do simple rigid body effects to this, I'll just press W on the keyboard or I'll click that and then I'll move it up off the plane like this. And then you can add rigid bodies to it by just click coming over here because this is the inspector. It's kind of like your properties in Blender. You add a component and down here there's going to be a rigid body to it. I'll just add a rigid body component to it like that. So it'll be under the influence of gravity once I start the game. You can actually start the game even though you're in scene mode. And there it goes, falling like that. All right. And then you can do the same thing, adding lights, creating a simple light. You can add a, well, directional light for a main light in the scene. You can see where it is. And then you can place this anywhere, of course. And then if you go to rotation here, you can see the light the way it's pointed. So it's very simple and quite powerful. I think Unity is quite nice just like Blender and one of the great advantages is that just you know when you look at here, here are our basic primitives for working within Unity but Blender has its own strengths and one of the greatest strengths of Blender is that you know it has really fun editing tools. You know you can just easily edit things and it also since we have access to shape keys like this in our vertex groups it's easy to make animated effects within Blender and then port them over into Unity. Or so, so I'll be covering that later on but in fact I did I posted a video last night about how to import an object into Unity and maybe I'll stuff that into this playlist as I build this playlist. So that's just the 
basics of getting going. And the other thing is you can hold down right right arrow key. You can hold down to move around like this. And uh, if you want to select an object, just just select it here like this. Oh, and one other really important thing is going to be your camera view. You know, notice in Blender to get the camera to look where you want. The easiest way to do it is to bring up the properties window with N, come down here and lock the camera to the view like that, then press zero on your numpad. And so I'm looking at the camera view. Now I'm scrolling with the middle mouse wheel now, and so that's going to be what my camera is seeing at any given time. Okay. And then when I like the view, I unlock it, and there it is. So if I switch out of that view and back into camera view, there it's fixed. So let's see what that's like in Unity. This is a really important feature set. So maybe I'll move it around so it's sitting over here. And then if I want to lock it in my camera view, I have to click the main camera like this. It's giving me my preview like this. And then come up here to Game Object and align with view. All right. So then that becomes my camera view. And that's just an icon for the camera you just saw there. <clears throat> and then when I go into game mode and play it, then that's my camera view into the scene. like that okay because otherwise if you change it up then it's gonna you know if I if I happen to rotate the scene and I'm looking down like that and I play it it's still gonna give me my camera view like that alright well that's it for starters like I said I'll post the other uh, video about importing objects from Blender into here and that'll really help and then we're gonna cover you know terrain building and basic objects and all, all kinds of other stuff to help you get going and I don't know how much I'll do beyond that I don't know if we get into the programming on unity too much because that really favors programmers but maybe I will because I do it as well so okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next lesson